At the beginning of the game, you have a nice intro animation showing the fall of the human race, which has destroyed itself by a nuclear war. The robots and lizard mutants have risen from the ashes of the post-nuclear fallout. Now with all humans gone, the mutant lizards have declared themselves as the rulers of the new post-apocalyptic world setting up factories across the desert's land. Here we will learn the story of Joe and Delta. One day while at work, Joe notices a small ro robot falling into the toxic tank. Delta was scheduled for the commission and Joe has decided to save his life. He takes him to his house on the outskirts of a desert wasteland for further repairs. Saving a fellow robot goes against all lizard rules. So they send a squad to bring Joe back and arrest him. In the last moments Joe manages to hide Delta, saving his life once again while sacrificing his home. Here at the beginning of the game, Delta wakes up at the Joe's house not knowing what happened to him. He wants to leave the house, but because of his depleted batteries, he needs to find a way how to charge them first. Life of Delta is a classic point-and-click adventure game where you have to examine the surrounding area in order to proceed to your next objective. Every single item should be collected as it might be useful at a later stage of our journey. We have found a battery charger, which can be unlocked with a pass card. Once we find a pass card, we can drag and drop it into the battery charger area and activate it. The battery charger is our first mini-game, where the main goal is to find the right symbol combination in order to charge separate battery panels. The correct symbol is shown on the top right side. The mini-game has a timer, which means we don't have much time to waste. Once all combinations are found, the mini-game is completed. Awesome! Delta is charged and free to leave the house. Outside of Joe's house we will meet various characters. We will learn that Joe has been kidnapped and taken to the Mega City. The only way how to get to the Mega City is to fly there by a flying ship which is parked in the nearby village and the only way how to get to that village is on the back of a butan cow.
This cow is owned by a local trader. He will agree to take us there, but for a price of course, which is a red flag made out of soft prep fabric. Our job is to get that flag for him in order to get to the next level. So here we are, once again examining the area, collecting items and finding a way how to reach our goal. Once we have all the needed items, we can merge them to get a new item and then use that new item on another item. <laughs> Quite the magic. Okay, great. We've got the flag. Let's give it to the trader. Once we leave the level, we will be able to see a nice in-between level animation. When we arrive to the nearby village, we will chat to the drifter. He is the owner of the old flying ship. Unfortunately, the ship is broken, and the only way how to repair it is to find different spare parts. These parts are hidden in various levels, and needs to be brought here to his workshop table. One of the items is inside the mechanic's hut. We will have to solve different tasks such as this power generator minigame in order to get the missing item. Our game is not only about minigames and other cool mechanical gadgets. We will observe organic items such as this amazingly looking beauty and cow's poop. Or this potions maker's dancing plant, which is also a huge melon head.
Thank you for watching our video. We can't wait to show you more of in the upcoming months. You can wish this to the life of Delta on Steam today.